Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. This will be the final part, I do believe. So you might be wondering why are we why are we in Sen's Fortress, Alex? Well, I'll tell you. Oh no, oh dear. You failed. Oh you didn't fail. Well, we're in Sen's Fortress because there's a few things we gotta do here. Uh, killing these guys is not going to be one of them because oh, I'm not going to bother with that. But I figured I would show this area off because look, there's stuff down here. Nothing important down here, but you know, you can come down here if you so wish. I'm not going to waste too much time down here, just want to... There. Uh, hey, but there are some items you can pick up. The most important thing well, okay, I guess it's not the most important thing, but the, the main reason I wanted to show is for this. This is how you access the secret roof of Sen's Fortress. Now, I call it the secret roof because I just can't think of any other way to describe it. I don't know if it has like an official name or anything like that, but if I ever reference the secret roof of Sen's Fortress, this is what I mean. This place right here. Because I... If I host fight clubs in Dark Souls 1, I often do them here. Some people think it's a good area, some people think it's a bad area. There are pros and cons. Cons would be, you know, it's, um... For the sake of invasions, it's fairly early in the game. But... So that's, you know, not a great thing, but... I think it's a really good area for fight clubs. Because it's, um... Okay, yeah, you can flip out as much as you want. It's a great area because it's very out of the way. It's very bright, and this square is just perfectly suited for fight clubs. And, you know, even if you get invaded whilst you're doing a fight club, on the off chance that the invader happens to find you up here, it will be very obvious to the invaders what you're doing. And if they still want to mess around, it will be easy for you to annihilate them. Oh right, yeah, I didn't get that item there. But again, I'm not going to pick up every single item, but I picked up a majority of them. Oh no, I'm going to sneeze. Uh-oh. Maybe crisis averted? But yeah, there's another reason we're coming to Sen's Fortress. There's... Well, an NPC we need to murder. I know. Again. I don't enjoy murdering these NPCs, but... For the sake of thoroughness, you know. <sighs> mm, oh, oh yes, it's you. What is it? Do something you need, eh? Or anything at all? Where do I get all my things? I'm stripped off the corpses of fools like yourself. It isn't easy. I have to catch them just before they go hollow. Oh, don't worry. I'll be there to claim your trinkets, gazing at your final twisted grimace. <laughs> Where do I get all my things? So you're that good, don't need a thing. It won't be long before you're begging for mercy. What the devil's got into you? Oh, there you are. Where have you been hiding? I guessed you'd hop the twig for certain. Bah! Shows what I know. <laughs> it's actually quite nice here, you know. The hollows don't care for a skinny old twig like me. I've got Yulia, and nobody pelts me with stones anymore. You're undead. 
You know how it is. I was treated worse back at home. Yeah, my wares? Of course they're stolen. What did you think? And when you lose your head, I'll sell it all again. <laughs> oh, this one. Ain't she lovely? Her name is Yulia. She's plumb in love with me. You'd never leave my side now, would you, Yulia? Oh, you can forget it. I'm all that she needs. Careful! She'll bite your little fingers off. Be kind, Yulia, be kind. <laughs> here, I'm not here. We... Tch, throw me a bone, will you? You haven't got much time anyway. Right, Yulia? Gone mad, have you? I'll teach you, you lousy rat. Yulia! Yulia! Why me? Little Yulia. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've got some nerve coming at me like that. I'll tear you to shreds, you bloody hollow. Greetings, and the pleasure to see thee again. As I in need of my assistance, do not be bashful. Hmm. Has thou acquaintance with Einwind for it? <laughs> With me no choice. I shall accept thy next invitation. In the hereafter. Hey, Shemai. I didn't expect to meet it. I sup- Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Well, that is a shame, then. What problem do you have now? I'm a man of peace. Idiot. Enough of you, I say. Farewell. Oh, my Lord. Why, my precious collection? Oh, hello. Ter and... Damn! You've lost it, haven't you? Then I have no choice. Prepare yourself. The sunlight made me wince, but now I've come back to this dark hole. So what brings you here? I will help you in any way I can. Oh, what is it? 
Now, you are no different from the rest. So be it. I am Ingward, the guardian of the seal. Prepare to meet your doom. See that? You've come at the perfect time. Some new gems have come my way. I saved them specially, just for you, mate. Here, have you met that backwoods shiver? Believe me on this one, bruv. The man is trouble. I can see it in his eyes. I just can. <laughs> no doubt about it. Watch him. I'm done with the looting and... What? Nothing appeals to you? Well, you must have poor taste. Curses! What's wrong with you? Well, if that's what it has to be... Why, you... Curses! How in the... What did I do? What did I do? Test my pyromancy. That must be it. Then I'll give you a taste of it, and it will not be pleasant, I assure you. Well, and here we are. At the end of the game at last. Um, we may have missed some NPCs, but I think I got them all. It's... I didn't have a checklist or anything, I just tried to list them off in my mind, but... This is such a weird thing we're doing now, this like, warping... Not even warping, just... I don't even know how to describe it, but... Takes us here. The Kiln of the First Flame. Hmm... I don't think I've killed some of those NPCs before. Or it's been a, such a long time that I've forgotten what they said. Imagine being dropped like that. Gwyn could actually be pretty hard because I can't have a parry. I can't have a parry? I can't parry him because I don't have a parry shield. But we'll have Solaire with us. Final stretch now. I assume this is the same sort of area that we go to in Dark Souls 3 at the very end, but I'm not sure, it's really interesting and sort of thundery up there. The Black Knights, scorched black by either the demons or Gwyn linking the fire, depending on uh, multiple sources. my humanity. I can heal with that. I, we probably won't need 20 uh, Estus for Gwyn, but you know, I have so much humanity at this point. Might as well, you know. Some people very much enjoy invading in this area. 
particularly if you put items down here, you can then knock people off the edges with your um, great bow, should you have one. How very rude that would be. I have surely never done that. These guys would be a lot easier if I could parry them. I always forget they have not infinite poise, but a lot of poise. I think this is where we pick up the Black Knight set. Yeah. Because you can hide behind some of these things and people can't really see you. Even better if you have the Ring of Fog. Ah, fantastic. Hmm, a few more enemies left and then we're at Gwyn. Oh yeah, and of course, Knight Solaire. He made it all the way to the end. Can we see Gwyn down there? I don't think we can. Hmm. Phantom Knight Solaire summoned. Not Phantom Knight Solaire. Phantom Knight Solaire. There is, there is a difference. Oh wow, I forgot this shield's not really meant for blocking. Hey Solaire, what's poppin'? Just you and me now, you're like the one NPC I didn't kill because... At this point he doesn't even have a physical presence in the world, I think. But, you know, I wanted him... But here, because I feel like this is the proper end for his questline. He links the fire in his own world. After helping you defeat Gwyn. And here we go, time to fight the Lord of Cinder. You know, Solaire always has to be the one to get the final blow. As is tradition and as is only right. And now we have one choice to make. Do we link the fire? Or do we become the Dark Lord? Well... There is no right answer, there is no wrong answer. You just need to go with what feels right in your heart.
here we go. Both endings are good in their own way, but I felt this one was a little more appropriate for this playthrough. Well, that's Dark Souls 1 for you. Using the souls that they have gathered throughout their journey, the Chosen Undead kindles the fire once again. But of course, this being Dark Souls, nothing is infinite. Everything is finite. And time is a circle. What goes around comes around. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. And it all begins again. Such is the cycle. Now, one last thing we will do before we end. As we never really used our cards, did we? So hey, we might as well use it at least once. But thank you so much for watching this Let's Play. I've had a lot of fun doing it. And... <laughs> Is there anything else to say? Stark Souls 1, it's, it was a great game when it came out. It's aged a little bit, but it's still a lot of fun. It's definitely one of my top 10 games. Perhaps my number one game. De definitely top 10, most likely top 5. Nothing really can compare. Well, this guy isn't going to have a good time. <laughs> My name is Alex. I have been the Silvermon. This has been Dark Souls 1. And you know what? Let's end it the way it all began. Back in Firelink Shrine. If you have any suggestions for what you would like to see in future videos, please do leave them in the comments. And if you are eager to see some other content from my channel, I... Well, good thing for you. There is loads of it. I have two other Dark Souls 1 Let's Plays. I have a, a standard Let's Play. And I also have a Soul Level 1 run. They're both quite old and the quality is not great. And... What else might there be? I have a Bloodborne Let's Play, I have a Dark Souls 2 Let's Play, and then also one for Scholar of the First Sin. I have DLC playthroughs that are three-man for Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, and... Well, yeah, just those two. <laughs> um, oh, there's so many things. Can we survive this drop? I'm curious. Can we? Let's have a look. Okay, yeah, with a lot of extra health. And if you'd like to support my channel, there is a Patreon, which gets you access to a Discord 
which is basically a chat room server style community thing where I talk to people, try and host games now and then, stuff like that, you know? There's also a PayPal you can donate to if you're super rich. But mostly, just thank you so much for watching my videos. That is why I make them. And if it entertains you or brightens up your day in any way, that means a lot to me. And although this Let's Play was just so I would have new footage for upcoming lore videos, I've had a lot of fun playing the game and I would say talking to you guys, but it's a bit of a one-sided conversation, but I always enjoy chatting in the comments and I can't wait to set this public in a few weeks so I can uh, start sharing it with you all. Unless you've been watching it already because you were in the Discord early access, but hey, that's gonna be it from me. I'll see you next time for... Well, who knows, maybe that Code Vein game. We'll see. Goodbye. And remember, I will always be here, watching over you. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. to leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran.